So we found this baby duck in our mechanic shop last week. We kept it for a couple of days at home and then brought it to the wildlife center to be raised and then released. It was very cute though. So the blackbird was trying to get on the bird feeder to get some of the nuts. <laughs> it's way too big to fit on it though. Let's see how the chickens react. Are you going to be good or are you going to run after it? <laughs> Summer's like, get out of my food. Hey, what's up everyone? Welcome back to Revere Urban Homestead. It's Saturday, April 16th, the day before Easter. And we just got done with Tyler's soccer game. They were losing three to one, but then they came back and tied it. So they have three wins, one loss, and one tie. But anyway, in the garden this morning, what we're going to be doing first is we're going to go harvest Brussels sprouts. Never done it before, but you could tell that the plants are pretty much done growing. It's starting to get hot out, so we got to get them out of the ground so those things don't get ruined. Let's go cut out some Brussels sprout plants. <laughs> okay, let's just harvest this one, then we're going to go in the backyard and process it. Okay, I'm just going to try and lop this off with the loppers at the bottom here. Boy, that's a big base. There we go. All right, let's take it to the backyard. Okay, so we definitely should have harvested this earlier because it is getting very hot out here, way too hot for Brussels sprouts. As you can see, when the leaves start to curl up at the top, it's basically done growing. A lot of people will cut the top off and that'll release energy into the Brussels sprouts themselves. But let's get this cleaned up and checked out what's inside. Haha, <laughs> check that out. It's like Brussels sprouts sprout shish kebab or something. I'm gonna go cut the other little plants out. We're gonna get them all de-leaved and we'll take a look at them. I'll be right back. So anyway, you know, this one was small. We'll get a couple of them off of this. This plant didn't really grow too well or this one. Now both of the smaller ones were in a five gallon um, bucket. This one was in a way bigger bucket bucket and I think it did obviously way better so I would recommend growing them in a the biggest pot you can in order to maximize what you want but anyway there we go we got a lot of green here we'll throw some into the chickens we'll throw some into the compost but I'm gonna go lay some right back into the raised beds probably So I've never tried to harvest a Brussels sprout. I guess, let's see, do I just twist it off? Do I break it off? I'm not sure, let me try one. Boy, that's kind of hard. Okay, yeah, I guess you could just, yeah. All right, there you go. A little Brussels sprout. Aw, how cute. Wow, that bird is really loud up there. Oh, it's the Blue Jays. They want more food. Ooh, speaking of, I got a new birdhouse. Let me show it to you. All right, sorry I transitioned really quick from Brussels sprouts to the bird feeders because I just got back from Lowe's and got a new bird feeder. I said birdhouse earlier, but I meant bird feeder. Check this out. This thing is cool. Oh, yeah. It's like a little barn, and it has little suet holders on each end. Two different chambers. You could put two different kinds of foods in there. Yeah, see that? I have songbird blend and then I have another one that has like um, a lot more nuts and fruit to it. And then the suet things, one of them just said it's a peanut butter suet and on the other side it is a woodpecker suet. So yeah, that's a cool new addition to the bird feeder. Spring is in the air, we got a lot of birds coming around, we have a lot of birds nesting in our trees. So now they have that food, they have that food. But I have this one we're going to hang out front by the green beans as well. So three different bird feeders. I really like that. That thing is so cool. I just got to remember to bring them in at night. Okay, so they say to store them unwashed with a moist like paper towel 
in a perforated bag. I just have the freezer bags. I just stabbed a bunch of holes in it with a knife <laughs> and put in a moist uh, paper towel. So we're just going to get these collected up and get them in this bag. They said they'll keep for like three to five weeks in the crisper section of your fridge. Start dropping some in. All right. I was going to dump them in a, a bowl of water to plump them up, but it says unwashed. So, ooh, I feel water coming out of them. So they're they're holding in some moisture, I tell you. <clears throat> All right, I'm getting the hang of it now. Boom. Just don't be shy. Break them off. Look at all of these. There's a lot of them, man. And just FYI, I'm not a massive fan of Brussels sprouts. Christine really likes them, so I was like, screw it, let's try and grow them. Wow, there's a lot of water coming out of them. I just watered them really good yesterday night, so they had time to soak it all in before I harvested. Oh yeah. Okay, I'll get back with you guys when I'm done. Alright, the rest I'm going to throw the stalks that have some Brussels sprouts on them, the smaller ones, right in there with the chickens and let them mess with them. Oh yeah, chickens love when I throw them some fresh greens. Actually, I bet you want a little bite of some. Here, let me get you a fresh leaf. like them Brussels sprout leaves <laughs> all right so everyone's enjoying the fruits of my labor now I'm gonna go throw some of these leaves into the compost bin okay Brussels sprouts are in the fridge now my brother got me this sign I poop breakfast what's your superpower let's go uh, get that hung up on the coop my other sign is kind of washed out from the Sun the rooster crows, but, and I can't remember what it said because there's nothing left. Oh well, that's okay. We're going to put it right underneath it though. All right, another sign on the coop. I gave the chickens grapes. The blackbird grabbed one, took it over to the water, and now it's submerged it in the water and it's eaten the grape. <laughs> Aww. The blackbird likes grapes. They're getting spoiled. Oh, there you go. Big piece. Go bring it to home. <laughs> Finishing it up up there. That's awesome. All right. Let's get back to work. Okay, guys. So this was the pot that the Brussels sprout, the big Brussels sprout plant was in. So I just kind of took out any roots that I needed to. I churned it up to make it nice and soft. Look at how deep I can go. Just nice and soft. I amended it with the bone meal, blood meal, organic fertilizer, a little bit of black cow. So now it's nice and fluffy. It's a perfect place to plant. Dun, da, 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 yellow potatoes. I bought these seed potatoes at Lowe's last week, so I figured we'd plant them this week once we harvested the Brussels sprouts. Okay, so we're just gonna put them in the sprouts facing up and we're gonna plant them, man, about five, six inches deep. Down in there. Down in there nice and deep. Okay, so now we got some potatoes planted. I'm gonna go get some straw from the coop without manure on it, and we're gonna just fill this in with some straw. I'll be right back. All right, let's get some straw in there. All right, so I'm just taking a little break inside for a minute, because let me tell you something. It's hot out there. It says it's 80 degrees, but it feels like 85. But when you're working under that sun with a little bit of humidity, woo! 
I had to come in in the AC that actually works in the house now and take a little break. So. But anyway, I did just water in the potatoes. So those are all set up, the yellow potatoes in the pot. I love growing potatoes, I don't know why. Um, after that, oh, I bought something else at Lowe's that we need to plant. So we'll go back outside here in a few. Mm. A little bite of carrot cake, it's part of my break. Gives me energy. Mm. Okay, no more. All right, I gotta go back to work. I'll meet you out in the garden. Mm. Mm -hmm. Okay, so, I don't know, it was just an impulse buy at Lowe's crook neck uh, squash. I know it's probably a little late to be planting it here, but we're gonna try it anyway, whatever. I was thinking about doing it right here in the bean patch. The bean, green beans aren't doing that great. So, I think what I'm gonna do is cut out a little piece of this pallet wood here that way it gives me a bigger opening i can amend the soil underneath it and just plant one there and plant one over there so let me go get my circular saw and cut out these planks a little bit okay easy enough just cut out a piece so now i have room to plant them in this bucket i just have black cow bone meal blood meal organic granular fertilizer and now i'm just going to take out some of the dirt that's here already Mix that in with the black cow and the fertilizer, the amendments. And plant it in. All right, so we got some yellow squash in here. We'll keep it monitored, see what happens. I'll water it in later when it cools off a little. All right, guys, so I'm sitting here just taking a break, having a nice cold beer. And I figured I was just looking over my what to plant guide that I have from the um, Florida Uni University of Florida up north. So in April, there isn't too much to plant. You should almost really have your stuff planted out by now, down here in zone 9, 10. But you can do some bush beans, pole beans, lima beans. What else? Carrots, they say by March. So you might be able to squeeze in some. We're kind of late, just like I did with the squash. It said from like September to March, you should be planting it. This is April, but whatever. We're going to do it anyway. <laughs> uh, Chinese cabbage you could do. Not much. Southern peas. But I mean, if you want to start some tomatoes and pepper plants, you could do that all summer long, really. It's not an issue. But I just watered in the summer squash that we just planted out. The next thing I think I really have planned now is just to do some fish fertilizing to the cucumber plants and just to all the plants really I did it last weekend I didn't put it on the video but I'm gonna do that again but I'll, I want to wait till the Sun is already past the garden and it's cooling down then I'll I'll go ahead and liquid fertilize that in but besides that I'm just gonna kick it for the rest of the afternoon it's already almost two o'clock Ooh, there's some two big wood storks cruising by that's awesome but yeah, it's already uh, 2, 3 o'clock, so I'm going to chill out for a couple hours, and then we'll go back out, and we'll do some fertilizing. So we'll see you in a little while. All right, good morning. It's early Sunday morning. It's only like 7.30, but I wanted to get out here and do the fish fertilizing before it gets too hot. I had that water sitting out overnight just to relieve any chlorine in it. We're going to do two, two tablespoons per gallon. So, 10 of these tablespoons. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. 
Good smell in the morning. I just used a little cut out one gallon milk jug. Sun's starting to break through in the backyard here. It's nice and quiet, finally. Summer was out here just squawking, being a butthead all morning. She finally shut up. Now it's time to relax, drink my coffee, and just listen to hopefully the wild birds and not summer. <laughs> it's hard to say. gonna fill that back up again let it sit all day long and then tonight I'm gonna fertilize the tomato plants down there with the fish fertilizer along with the pepper plants I didn't have enough in the one five gallon I really wanted to get these cucumbers though fertilized they're starting to look a little pale so I may midweek fish fertilize them again until they start greening up a little bit better the poblano pepper plant back there looks awesome but anyway, sun's starting to come up. It's going to be a beautiful day. All the birds are singing. All right, so that's going to be a wrap, guys. It's Easter Sunday. I'm going to just sit here and enjoy my coffee for a little while, get some morning sun. Tonight we're having some ham in the crock pot mashed potatoes. Anthony will be here with his lady, so we're going to have a nice evening, but today I'm going to edit early, I'm going to upload early, and I'm just going to kind of kick it and enjoy the day. But we got a lot done, harvested some Brussels sprouts, planted some potatoes, planted some, what else did we plant? Oh yeah, the yellow squash. We're moving along. Next weekend we have to get the pepper plants out of those pots and planted, so that's one thing we need to do. And... I'm not sure what else. We'll figure it out. But anyway, you guys have a great day. I'm going to sit here and relax. See you later.